If you're just starting in web design, you need to know the best website builder you could possibly get your hands on. Today, I'm gonna to be ranking some of the top website builders on the market right now. If you're interested in web design or anything tech, hit the like on this video so we could share this with more people. All right, so here's our tier list. We have Shopify, Squarespace, WordPress, Weebly, Webflow, and Wix. Those are the only ones we have in this list. These are really the most common builders that you see. And of course there's more out there, but I mean, let's face it, who really uses them. So on the left, you'll see we have S tier at the top, which means these are the best website builders all around. They're the ones I use pretty much on an every website basis, but there are some others, of course, that I will use from time to time. So that's where A comes in. A tier is for the list that is great, truly great, but I might only use for a couple niche things and not as common as I would in the S tier. So think of A as like a backup plan to the S tier. And then B tier will be for site builders that are good, but they're not great. They're the ones that I would probably not be using. And this is where that line starts, where B tier is that line, where I'm probably not gonna be using them, but they're still good. I would really hope that the things in B tier end up getting improved down the road. But for starters, you know, this is B tier, really. And then C tier is for those that are honestly just kind of meh, ones that I'm definitely not going to be using, but I wouldn't say I can't recommend them. They just are what they are. You know what I mean? And then D tier is, is just trash. Sorry, I didn't mean to scroll there, but D tier is just trash. Stuff I wouldn't use and wouldn't recommend unless it's in just a very small niche group of people that may fit in. So automatically off the bat, I'm going to be putting Weebly in D tier. Weebly is just all around garbage. I mean, seriously, everything that is in Weebly sucks. Sure, you could get the job done if you really, really need to, but let's face it, the templates suck, the customization sucks, and overall, it's a really poor company. The customization alone is really limiting, making it really hard to expand your website the way you probably will want to. I remember starting my web career trying out Weebly and I gave up really quickly thereafter because it's just trash. I mean, seriously, there's nothing really good to say about Weebly overall. It's just, it, it deserves this spot. I mean, yeah, it would be nice to see it improve a little bit, but will I ever use it? Absolutely not. So it's going to be staying in here. And that's, that's actually not even to mention SEO. SEO alone with Weebly is just garbage. There's only a very few things you could add for SEO purposes. And if you really want your site to rank the way it should, this is not the site builder for you. I could see the site builder being used for maybe one small local business just so they have a listing. But even then, I think the people using this to build that website would just be very disappointed overall because it's it's really just not good. But again, let me just reiterate that this is my opinion. It's okay to have your own opinion. This is a free country after all. But if you do, let's just try to be respectful in the comments. And this is Probably a good time with that being said to mention, hit the like button on this, subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm going to be making a ton of web content coming on in the future. All right, and next up on the list, we have Squarespace. And look, I'll be the first to admit, I don't use Squarespace. I've tried it once. I did like it. I really thought, honestly, Squarespace's web UI was really nice and their onboarding experience was good. But other than that, it's, I, you know, I used it once. It was, it was what it was. Would I recommend it? <sighs> Maybe, but I wouldn't use it. I don't think because of that, it belongs in B tier. Some would say it probably is. A tier, no. S tier, no. So I think, quite frankly, it really fits the description of my C tier. Well, you know, I Again, I can't tell you too, too, too much. The only things I know are that first experience I had and that every YouTuber on the face of earth advertises for Squarespace. But other than that, I really think it fits perfectly into my description of C tier. I wouldn't use it, but it definitely isn't bad. And I know some people who truly do love it. So for that, it's, you know, it's, it's not the worst thing. I could definitely see it being more useful than Weebly in the sense that someone who is a single business owner wants to make a website on their own, they could do it very easily in Squarespace. And I think it's great, but you know, this is a web agency and I really don't think Squarespace caters too much into that market. So for what my use case is, it's staying here. I could see other people saying it's like S tier, but I, I just, 
I can't recommend it. And next up on the list, I'm actually going to move on over to Wix because I just really want to talk about Wix. I think I think Wix belongs in A tier. And here's why. As far as customization is concerned, Wix is honestly pretty awesome. I mean, of course, it's not as advanced as some of the other builders on this list, but we're going to get into those later. And, you know, I got to say out of the box, Wix really does have a lot to offer and they're improving tremendously. I know they recently had a campaign where they were dissing WordPress and I think that's just a joke because it's it isn't WordPress. As you could see, we're going to get into that shortly, but it's good. It's, it's, you know, it's better than Squarespace in my opinion. It's better than uh, Weebly in my opinion. And then we're going to get to some of the others, but Wix is just all around good. You could tell they're paying a lot of attention to what people want out of their, you know, software in general. And I think over the next probably five, 10 years, Wix is going to continue to grow and really, really make a name for itself up with WordPress and Webflow, which we're going to get into later. But therefore, we're going to move on because that's all I could really say. I haven't used it too, too much. Probably really wouldn't recommend it for agency specifically. But if I, you know, if I was in a pinch, wanted to get something done, I'd bang out a Wix website pretty quickly. And I know they have everything I really need. They have decent SEO. They have everything else that you could do pretty much with WordPress and Webflow. But they're, it's just not quite at that level yet. I think it's going to take time. I would love to see it get up there. I don't plan on replacing WordPress, <laughs> but we'll get into that. So next up, I'm going to move on to Shopify, and I think it belongs really, really well in B tier. Look, Shopify is, uh, it's the best, by far, it's the best e-commerce platform with all the features built in right from the start, but it is pretty pricey, I'm not going to lie. Whether it's just the plans themselves, which tend to be increasing every time I use it, but I will add a price thing to the end of this video. Um... Whether it's just the prices of the actual membership itself or its themes that are in there, you could really end up spending a lot of money. Plus, the plugins that are available here, they really are expensive. But what you get is a very, very resourceful product for inventory, paying, etc. All of those things work really, really well with Shopify. So if I were to build someone a very simple e-commerce website where they wanted to do something like let's say drop shipping, or if they wanted to do just a basic product, one or two, maybe 20 products, I think Shopify is the way to go. But at scale, it's not the best. So I think for me, this belongs in B tier. I don't use it. I have used it before pretty extensively. If I really had a client that wanted just a very generic website for keeping track of inventory and sales and all that stuff, I would probably use Shopify. I mean, we're going to get into it in a little bit, but I would definitely use it over WordPress, but you know, it, it really, it depends on what it is. Like if I, if I were to do a, let's see, uh, a course, I would want to go with probably WordPress or something else, but you know, Shopify is good for those just basic products. So I think it fits in very well in B tier. The themes themselves for the most part are really good. It's just, you know, it's, it's not up there. If I'm trying to design like the nicest website or a really custom website, you can't really do that with Shopify unless you know CSS and things like that. But if you'll notice, this list consists of all basically no code uh, website builders. And these two are included in that. But we're going to move on because now we have two, I think, are the top dogs in the no code world. That is WordPress and we have Webflow. So I'm going to get started with Webflow and I'm going to put that in S tier as well. Um, I think we're, I think Webflow is really, really awesome. Is it WordPress? No, but it is awesome. Webflow allows you to basically take any sketch you've done or mock-up you've done in Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, whatever, and make it exactly to the T how you want with pretty much no limitations. The SEO tools in here are fantastic. Now, let me say, there is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to this tool. It's not an easy tool to use, but you know that going in and you get what you pay for. So if you're if you're looking to use Webflow, 
I really think it's the best for agencies, not only because you can make the sites however you want, but it really just opens up your world, makes it feel like you're still designing and not necessarily developing. Um, but yeah, again, there is definitely a learning curve to this. So if, if that doesn't really tickle you, then you might want to go with something like Wix or WordPress, but WordPress also has a learning curve and we're going to get into that later. Now I'm going to add again, the prices of Webflow in there. I know it's pretty expensive, but really I think Webflow targets mainly to agencies like mine and others. So for what this is, Webflow is awesome. I, I can't recommend it enough. Um, is it the one I use the very, very most? No, because that belongs to WordPress and WordPress also belongs in S tier. Now you'll see, I specifically put WordPress ahead of Webflow and that's because I like WordPress a little bit more than I like Webflow. And let's face it right out the box. Everyone knows there's a lot of updates with WordPress. There's a lot of stuff that could get hacked in WordPress. So those things are, you know, obstacles that you have to work around with it, but it is by far the most expansive and well integrated platform out of any of these. I can't see Wix catching up within the next five years. It might, it might eventually, but I can't see it catching up yet. Webflow's almost there. It's still an S tier. I think it's a freaking awesome website builder, but WordPress just has everything. I use WordPress, I would say 90% of the time. I'm slowly getting more into Wix. I mean, <laughs> I'm slowly getting more into Webflow, which is why I placed it so high. But at the very moment, I just find myself constantly going to WordPress. And that's because, you know, I, I know Elementor very well. All of the SEO plugins that are available are amazing. And not to mention, we're talking about the plugins. There are so many plugins to choose from. There's literally a plugin for everything you need in here. WordPress is awesome. I mean, you could have an experience like Wix with WordPress. You could get a theming engine that is very just basic drag and drop, a little bit of customization, or you could get something like Elementor where you could basically do anything you want. And then you add a tool like Crocoblock onto it. WordPress becomes just limitless. I absolutely love WordPress. I think there is so much you could do with it and it fits for every kind of website. Whereas I can't say the same for Webflow as much. I mean, you can do it for like listing websites, etc. But the stuff you could do with advanced custom fields, um, you know, all of Jet Engine and Crocoblock, things like that. I think this beats it a little bit. You could do, you could definitely do that stuff here, but this makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more streamlined. And you could really make a cool backend for the customer if you really wanted to within WordPress. I think it is the clear winner. And again, these are both S tier. Realistically, Webflow probably should be an A for me, but I do plan on using this a lot more because I really love how customizable it is. But WordPress still just has a beat. So really, if there was like an S plus tier, WordPress would be up there. But I had to limit it to this, and I think these are the two best. Of course, you could use Wix. Of course, you could use Shopify. You could use Squarespace. You could really use Weebly if you want, but good luck. But out of all those, if you're an agency or a freelancer and you're looking for the best website building tool, WordPress is by far your best bet. There's almost no competition to it. And I really just think it's the best. All right. Thank you for watching my list of the top website builders that you can get your hands on. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with all things web dev, startup and entrepreneurship, I'll be back again soon. And until then, stay hungry, stay foolish.